Okay, for the first, this Sarum Ketan movement is a matter of going all together, chanting the Holy Name, glorifying the Holy Name, glorifying Krishna. For this um, Naga Sarum Ketan, when we go to make Harinam in the streets and the towns, that's maybe the cheapest and the best way to be seen and spread the, the Holy Name around the world. <coughs> so therefore, of course, it's a challenge to our ego to go out there, expose ourselves, and who knows sees, sees us. But it's it's a it's a very nice way. It's a very nice. It's very purifying. Or most purifying. Because we go on Harinam Samkitan, whether we're walking, whether we're sitting, or we're going out exposing <laughs> exposing ourselves, I would say. <laughs> To the holy name and exposing other exposing other to the holy name so then it's a matter of prayer well what are we sitting there what are we doing we're chanting the holy name for the purification of our own heart for the rect of, actually for the purification of those who are around in internal mood well it's a matter of being a servant it may or may not be there is always this mode of goodness happiness and that's mode of goodness, happiness means that's in the 18th chapter of the Bhagavad Gita. In the beginning it may be poison, but at the end it's sweet, nectar, and it's favorable for self-realization. Because it's always favorable, it's always purifying, and realization comes. Because my own internal state, when I, I don't know, we, we just go out and sing, and okay. Many times it's a matter of prayer to the Lord to maybe manifest in the Holy Name. In one sense it's already there in the Holy Name, <coughs> but a matter for us to, whatever, reciprocate with that Holy Name some, in some way that He manifests. But we also are praying for the, to the proper mood, I would say. When I joined the movement in 1970, I came for the Sunday feast and I came back next morning put some prasadam, and then they, they were going to go to some Kitan, so they proposed that this guest here also could come with. So the first day I was going there, and then that was on the Monday, we were going out to Harinam. <laughs> and that was nice. That was very kind Bhakta leader. That was Kula Shekhar, who was, well, some Kitan leader, taking out. And this uh, guest there, he didn't sing very nicely. <laughs> Someone said, isn't it enough that he just claps his hands? <laughs> and then the, the Samkitani said, no, 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 it's okay. Let him sing. <laughs> In any case, we carry it on. So because of time, we learn to sing a little bit. <clears throat> but that was one, his kindness. No, no, let him. Let, it was even if I wasn't such a beautiful voice or whatever. He, he encouraged uh, that I participated. And I thought that was very nice, a very kind of merciful gesture because I went there with them to chant the holy name of the Lord. Yeah, um, usually always in the, when we chant at one point or another, there is some connection established in the heart with the Lord. And that's, that's a purification and lightness. Uh, coming from the exercise, <laughs> it's, not a, it's a transcendental exercise. 